everyone welcome to this lesson so in this lesson we're going to introduce a new topic which is multiple roots up to this point we dealt with what are called single roots and single roots are basically what we dealt with we, we had an x-intercept we had the function crossing the x-axis but we have actually a type of root that is called multiple root in which the root is actually tangential to the x-axis and you can clearly see this from the graph that we have here this at x equal one for this particular function this is the root that we've been dealing with there is a change in function value around this root but you get at x equal three and you can see that it's actually tangential to the x-axis and there is no change in function value all the function values are either zero or above zero okay now this poses a few issues because right now we have four different techniques that we dealt with. We dealt with the bisection method, the false position, the Newton-Raphson, and the secant. Now the bisection and false position, if you remember, in actually developing it, we took advantage that there is a change in sign around the root. But if you look at x equals 3 here, there is no change in sign. So the bisection method and false position are out the window. We cannot actually use bracketing methods in dealing with multiple roots. So the remaining two methods that are um, that we have available are the newton raphson and the secant. And the secant is just the newton raphson where the derivative is approximated. So if we look at the newton raphson unlike the bisection and the false position, the newton raphson had the derivative, and the derivative was in the denominator. And if you look at the root here is tangential to the x-axis. In other words, the root has a derivative of zero. So when we're approximating using the newton raphson we have the problem of getting closer and closer and closer to dividing by zero so that is one issue but not only that when we apply the newton raphson the newton raphson loses its quadratic convergence um, ability and we explain what quadratic convergence is it's basically it has uh, the ability to converge faster to the root and we saw this in when we dealt with the newton raphson when we dealt with single roots right when we dealt with those single roots of negative one and two we saw this quadratic uh, convergence as opposed to the linear convergence that the false position had and also the bisection had so when we apply uh, newton raphson to multiple roots it actually loses is uh, its um, quadratic convergence ability. So now we have two problems. Now we have a problem that we have by dividing by zero and also uh, the problem of if we apply the standard neutral raphson that we dealt with to multiple roots, it loses its quadratic ability. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a modified neutron raphson that takes care of these two issues. And this is the equation that we have here. I'm not going to go through its uh, uh, derivation, but you can actually see that for us to actually uh, remedy the dividing by zero and also from uh, letting the neutron raphson regain its quadratic convergence ability, we actually introduced the second derivative. So unlike the standard interesting where we need to have a guess the function and the first derivative now we need to guess the function the first derivative and also the second derivative so what we're going to do in this lesson we're going to um, apply the newton raphson to get the um, root at three using the standard and also at three to uh, get the modified and mainly i'm doing this to show you how the modified Newton Raphson or also the secant uh, regains back its um, uh, quadratic ability. So let's go ahead. So I'm going to actually, I brought up the uh, code that we had for the Newton Raphson, and it's going to be the same code. The only difference is that we're applying it to a different function. So the only thing that is going to change in this code is the function that I'm dealing with, the first derivative, and also the guess that I'm dealing with. Okay, so the function I'm dealing with is x uh, cubed minus 7 multiplied by x power 2 plus 15 um, x minus 9. And there should be an asterisk here. 
And what is the derivative for that? It's going to be 3 times x power 2. And that's going to be minus 14 multiplied by x. And that's going to be plus 15. That's going to be our uh, first derivative, right? So what guess should I have? Um, let's actually guess maybe uh, 2.5 as our root, as our guess. And what I'm going to do is I actually, we're going to do it based on iteration, the approximate error, and um, and the root. So let's actually get rid of the true error because usually true error we're not aware of. So we're going to have the iteration with its corresponding approximate error and corresponding uh, estimation. So actually, let's run the code and see what we're going to get. All right, great. So we have seven iterations. And with those seven iterations, we had an approximate value of 0 0.094. And it got closer, uh, it got pretty close to the multiple root 2.997. So pretty accurate. So let's actually go ahead and do this. Let me actually correct this. Um, this is modified uh, Newton um, uh, Raphson. And as we already know, the difference between the going to be the modified Newton Raphson and modified secant method is the secant is basically where the derivative is approximated. So there is a derivation or there is a version of this equation where the first derivative is approximated using the Taylor series and the second derivative. And that equation would be referred to as the modified secant um, method. So let's go ahead and write the code for this. So the code is going to be basically, let's actually copy this. And let's start our new module. And if I start a new module, the only difference between this and this is now I need actually to define the um, second derivative, right? So I'm going to copy this function here just for ease. And I'm going to um, do dy dx maybe 2. And what is the um, second derivative? Well, the second derivative is going to be, this is going to be 6. And I'm going to get rid of that squared and uh, minus 14. So that's going to be my second derivative. Another thing that's going to be changing also is my definition of the xr. So this is going to take a little bit to write. So it's going to be f of xi, the derivative at xi, and going to be multiplied, going to be divided by, and this is going to be the first derivative, which is dy dx, and this is going to be at xi, and that's going to be power 2, and going to be minus f of xi multiplied by dy dx2, and that's going to be at xi. Okay, great. So now I'm going to adjust this code down here because this code um, outputs the iteration in column one, the approximate error in two, and the, uh, the uh, corresponding approximation in three. So I want to do it in, it's going to be one, two, three, four, so five, six, and seven. So let's change those to five, six, and um, seven. So now I'm done with my code. So the only two differences is now I introduce my second derivative and I redefine xr and this minor change that we did down here. Uh, so let's actually run the code. All right, great. So we see that with this method, we it took us four iterations. We reached an approximate error of actually zero, and we reached our uh, multiple root at x equals three. And from this graph, you can see that the neutron raphson has the linear convergence in, in dealing with the multiple error, or sorry, in dealing with the multiple root, as opposed to its quadratic convergence when it's dealing with a single root. But by creating this uh, modified Newton Raphson method, you can see that it regained back its quadratic convergence, but it also dealt with the problem of dividing by zero. Okay, so what did we learn in this lesson? We learned about a new type of root, which is called multiple root, which is basically where the function is tangential to the x axis. 
Now, this poses two problems. First, that we don't have a change in sign, which means we don't we can't use bracketing methods. But also, the fact since it's tangential to the x-axis, the derivative is equal to zero, which also poses a problem with the neutron raphson And also, the neutron raphson with multiple roots loses its quadratic convergence quality. So what we did is we created this modified neutron raphson method that is now defined not only in, uh, in, um, in the guess, the function, and the first derivative, but also now we apply the second derivative and with the code the only difference between the code of the standard neutron raphson and the modified is now we introduce the second derivative and we redefine xr using this equation and from by outputting the data we can actually see uh, clearly that the neutron raphson actually truly has a linear conversions with multiple roots and it took seven uh, iterations to reach an approximate error of 0 0.094 and reach point uh, 2.997 as opposed with the modified, which now the neutron raphson regained its quadratic convergence quality, uh, and we have four durations, an approximate error of zero, and we reach our multiple root at three. Well, that marks the end of this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.